x0, x1 to xn also belongs to the uh, uh, interval AB, then the k case order divided difference okay is equal to the case order divide uh, case order derivative at some uh, uh, c divided by k fract number okay so that means this is a re relation between the divided difference and the derivative it's okay actually actually you should understand um, the first order divided difference remember x i x i minus f x k divided by x i minus x k so if we consider the limit when x i goes to x k then it should be it should be the derivative of x k it's okay okay of course if we don't we don't choose we don't let the limit x k goes to x k uh, x i goes to x k then it should be if we if we don't uh, don't consider the limit then of course it is it is not exact the der derivative uh, at x k but it should be equal to the derivative of some c some c between x i and x k remember this is a lagrange uh, median uh, theorem in calculus okay so here c because here we have n plus one nodes so k is uh, be, uh, between the minimum and the maximum of the nodes it's okay for you okay of course we can prove it now because pkx now we already know pkx is fx0 plus now the coefficient a1 is the first order divided difference fx0 x1 multiply x minus x0 right and the second second order derivative uh, the, the divided difference okay multiply x minus x0 multiply x minus x1 okay plus dots to last term x f uh, x k uh, x0 x1 to x k case order divided difference multiply the basis right x minus x0 multiplied to x minus x k minus 1 remember here should be k minus 1 okay we know this this polynomial is the interpolation polynomial of degree k of fx on the nodes x0 to xk right then the remainder term the remainder term uh, denoted by rkx is the difference between the exact function fx and the uh, interpolation polynomial pk okay we know because because fxj minus pkxj equal to zero equal to zero right when j is zero one two k it's okay that means that means for the remainder term function rkx it has at least n plus one different roots you see x0 to xk they are roots for the uh, remainder function rk okay so remember the ross theorem remember what what is the ross ross theorem okay i show you again the rule in, in calculus we already know if a function like this it has two roots then it should be one root for the derivative that means the zero zero derivative the zero slope it's okay this is the Ross Ross theorem it's okay now here we already know for example if we have for example one two three four five five zero point that means the figure the function like this then we have one two three four four zero points zero points for the, uh, the first uh, order derivatives it's okay and continue we have one two three four four zero point for first 
derivative, then we sh we should have three zero points for the second divide uh, second derivatives. So repeatedly, repeatedly, then there exists one point C between the nodes x zero x one to x k. It's okay. Such that such that okay the case order the case order derivative is zero is zero it's okay because we have k plus one k plus one roots okay here we have one two three four five five zero points we have four zero points for first order derivative then continue okay at last we have c for case order derivative zero point okay then by the then we can know the divided difference because because here this term this term because now you see this term we can if we compute because here now you see pk this is pk right pk is a case order case order polynomial a case degree of of polynomial so for uh case order derivative for case degree polynomial then it's derived derivative just uh, the coefficient just the coefficient multiply case case uh fractal number it's okay for you okay as right here for example a2 i use c okay c2x2 plus c1x plus c0 this is p2 p2x it's okay then the first derivative of p2x should be 2c2x plus c1 then the second derivative should be 2c2 it's okay because this is a degree of 2 so and for degree of k now you see for degree of k then the derivative the derivative should be the highest highest order coefficient multiply the case uh, fract number so that means the case order derivative of pk should be f the coefficient x0 x1 to x and the case order divided the difference multiply case fract number okay so the the difference is zero then we can obtain this term is equal to the case order derivative of f at c divided by case or case uh, fract number it's okay clear uh, i hope you can understand the proof okay okay here are some theoretical property now let's relax uh, practice by an example to show you how to use Newton formula. Okay, now you see we have. Uh, okay, I show you a simple start from a simple, uh, simple uh, example. Firstly, of course, I I I show you we need to use a divided. Divided the differences table like this. Okay, here. Now you see, uh, the first column is the fun uh, the nodes. The second column is the uh, are the function values. Uh, first dd divided difference. I simply write dd. Okay, the second divided difference. Uh, second dd, third dd. Okay, and so on. So now you see we have x0 naught and the function value fx0 and we have x1 and fx1 then now you see we can compute the first uh, order divided difference by okay now you see fx0 x1 okay you should know I write here repeat again it is fx1 minus fx0 divided by x1 minus x0. Clear? It's okay. Then by the two function values, we obtain the first divided difference. Okay, now we add the new node x2 and the function value x fx2. Then we can use the two function values 
to obtain the the first order divided difference at x one and x two. Clear? So f x one x two equal to f x one minus f x two divided by x one minus x two. Clear? Okay. Then we already have two. First order divided difference. Then we can compute the second order divided difference at x zero, x one, and x two. Okay, I write here the formula. So x zero, x one, and x two. Then it should be f x. We already obtain x zero, x one, right? Minus f x one and x two. It's okay. This term. And divided by, so you see x one here and also x one here, the common term. So the denominator should be x zero minus x two. Clear? X zero minus x two. Okay. To obtain the second order divided difference with respect to x zero, x one, and x two. Clear? Okay. Continue. We add new node x three. And function value f x three, then we can compute the first order d d with respect to x two and x three. It's okay. So I write here f x two and x three equal to f x two minus f x three divided by x two minus x three. It's okay for you. X two minus x three. Okay. Now. By these two, by these two, first d d, we can obtain the second d d at x one, x two, and x three. It's okay. So I write here x one, x two, and x three. Now it is a ratio, right? The numerator, the numerator is the difference between the two, the two uh, first d d. So it should be x one. X two minus f x two and x three. Clear? Clear? These two terms. Okay. What is the denominator? Now, the common term is x two. X two. Okay. Here should be x one minus x three. Clear? Clear? You 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 should uh, understand the rule. Right. Okay. Now continue. Here we have two second d d. Then we can use the two terms to obtain the third, the third d d. Right. Okay. So f x zero, x one, x two, and x three. Okay. So I write here f x zero, x one, x two, and x three. It should be. The divided difference. The numerator. We have these two terms, so we use f x zero x one x two minus f x one x two and x three. It's okay. Now you see zero one two one two three zero one two one two three. Okay. Can you tell yourself what is the denominator? Now you see the common terms are one two one two. Okay, what is the difference? Okay, it should be x zero minus x three. Clear? Remember? So it is easy to remember. Of course. Now you see this is a very easy rule can be uh, applied in computer, right? So that is why we like the Newton's uh, formula because it is easy uh, to be. Uh, compared code code by computer program, it's okay. Now we call this by divided difference table. It's okay for you. Of course, we can continue if we are given the the new node x four f x four. Then we can use the two terms to obtain x three x four. Right. The first. Uh, All the divided difference continue. We we can use the two terms to obtain the second d d 
at x2, x3, and x4. It's okay because here 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. So 2, 3, 4. Continue. Okay, we can obtain. We can obtain. Okay, uh, the third DD. Okay, now you, you should understand the north. 1, 2, 3, 3, uh, 2, 3, 4. So the union x0, oh, sorry, x1. The union should be x1, x2, x3, and x4. It's okay. The third DD. So by the two terms, we can obtain the first order divided difference. So fx0, x1, x2, x3, and x4. It's okay. So we can we can write here what what is the fourth dd it is a ratio right ah, okay i write here it is a ratio so the uh, maybe we need here right here okay if it, because it is x0 x1 x2 and x3 minus fx1 x2 x3 and x4 okay Okay, now you should understand what is the denominator. Now, one, two, three, one, two, three common terms, right? So difference should be x0 minus x4. x0 minus x4. Clear? Okay, so of course you can use the second term minus the first term. Of course, here should be x4 minus x0. It's okay for you? It's okay? Okay, now, now you see, I use red color, okay, for the diagonal terms. Diagonal terms, they are the coefficients of the Newton interpolation polynomial, uh, polynomial, okay, so PNX. PNX should be the first term, fx0, plus the first dd of fx0, x1, multiply phi 1x, the basis x minus x0 okay plus okay oh i need uh, i need to clean okay it's okay for you okay now you see okay this this conversion second dd multiply x minus x0 multiply x minus x1 and plus okay the last term okay if here pn means n degree so we have n plus 1 nodes, right? fx0, x1 to xn, the nth order dd, multiply x minus x0, x minus x1, multiply to x minus xn minus 1. You should already always remember, here should be n minus 1, because we start from 0, okay? Okay, then this is the Newton, the Newton polynomial, interpolation polynomial. Right, the Newton interpolation polynomial. Of course, I show you. If you remember, actually there is an interesting property. Now, in the beginning, we suppose all the nodes are different. Remember, x zero, x one to x n. They are should be. Uh, they they should be. They should be different nodes. Now, if we consider the limit, that means they are same node. Same node. When x0 equal to x1 to xn, that means we consider the limit. All the nodes goes to one node. Okay? Then what is the result? Now you see, and you should understand by the property, we, we just show you the property between here, between the divided difference and the derivative. It's okay? Oh, I, I omitted proof. Okay, just here. Now you see, that means we consider the limit. All the nodes goes to x0, for example. Then this is just the derivative, a case of the derivative at x0. It's okay? So that means, that means here, the limit, the limit is just c limit of c goes to x0 so that is just the case order derivative at x0 divided by case 
fraction number. Then, if you replace here, then what is the result? Okay, the Taylor's polynomial. Remember the Taylor's formula? Okay, we expand fx by the Taylor's series. Remember, the first term is fx0 plus f prime x0 multiply x minus x0. Okay, now you see, compare fx0, fx0. This by the limit, by the limit, it is just the first derivative. Okay, multiply x minus x0. Okay, plus the second dd goes to the second uh, second uh, divide derivative at x0, right? Okay, divided divided by two frac number, right? It's okay. Multiply, now you see, x0, x1 goes to x0. So, it is just the x minus x0 square, right? It's okay, this term. And then continue dots to last term. Now you see, because the limit, the limit is just the, the case order derivative at x0 divided by the k frank number. Okay, multiply. Now, all the nodes goes to x0. Okay, so it should be x minus x0. What is the power? Okay, k, k, uh, n terms, right? Uh, okay, here, we, we, we consider n, okay? Now, I write here. We consider n, okay? n, then here should be n. If we consider pn, okay? pn, sorry. So, then n terms, then here, power of n. Now you see, that means, oh, it should be pn. Sorry, I should write pn. Okay, so that means we use pn, we use pn to approximate fx. Now you see, this is just the Taylor's polynomial. That means uh, for the Taylor's series, the former terms, it's okay for you? So that means, uh, that means the Taylor's polynomial uh, is the limit, is the limit of Newton's polynomial. Okay, can you understand? Okay, so this is the relation between Taylor's polynomial and Newton's polynomial. Okay, okay, let's practice easily. Okay, uh, uh, another example. Now you see, we are given one, two, three, four, four data points, f0 equal to 2, f1 equal to minus 3, f2 equal to minus 6, f3 equal to 11. Okay, now we have four, ter four conditions, so we need to find the cubic interpolation polynomial, p3, for this function. It's okay? Now we have f two methods, two ways. Okay, so now we check by the divided differences by the Newton's formula. Okay, so we use the table, remember the table. Okay, the first column, the second column function value, first dd, second dd, and the third dd, because of cubic, right? Okay, start, zero, x equal to zero, function value equal to two, right? Okay, the second point, x equal to one, and function value equal to minus three, okay? Now we can obtain the first dd uh, right here. So it is minus 3, minus 2. If you use minus 3, minus 2, then the denominator should be 1 minus 0. It's okay? It's okay for you? You can change the order for both numerator and denominator, right? Okay, it is minus 5. Okay, we add new node 2 and the function value is minus 6. Then the first dd Numerator is minus 6 minus minus 3, double minus, so plus 3, divided by 2 minus 1. It's okay? 2 minus 1. The numerator, the numerator is minus 3. Denominator is 1. So it is minus 3, the ratio. Clear? Okay, we obtain 2 first dd, then we can obtain the second dd. The second dd is 
minus 3 minus minus 5, so plus 5. Okay, can you tell me the, the denominator? Okay, it should be 2 minus 0. It's okay for you? Why it is 2 minus 3? Uh, 2 minus 0? Okay, here. Because uh, now we can consider fx0, x1, x2 here. fx0, x1, x2. Now, now you see the denominator. Here we use 2, 0, minus 2. Because here we use this term minus this term. Of course, you can change the order, right? So here, denominator is x2 minus x0. You change it, okay? So here, 2 minus 0. So you use minus 3 minus minus 5. So it is 1, okay? Continue. New note, 3 and 11. Okay, divide the difference. 11 minus minus 6 plus 6 divided by 3 minus 2. So it is 11, right? Okay, for the two first DD, we can construct the second DD. Okay, we use 11, uh, 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 17, sorry, 17. 17 minus minus 3 plus 3 divided by, okay, you should use 3 minus 1, right? It's okay. 3 minus 1, okay? So it is 10, it is 10, okay? Continue, we can use 10 minus 1, 10 minus 1, then what is the denominator? It should be x3 minus x0, so x3 minus x0, 3 minus 0, okay? It is 9 over 3, so it is 3, clear? Now we obtain 4 diagonal, diagonal numbers, so we can obtain the uh, polynomial P3. Okay, because this is first the DD, uh, diagonal, first the DD, second the DD, and the third the DD. Okay, so we can use the uh, Newton's interpolation formula. So P2, P3x, P3x equal to 2, 2, okay, multiple, uh, plus, plus, minus 5, minus 5, multiply, multiply x minus x0, right? So it is x minus x0 is 0. So if you, uh, I, I'll show you the final result. If you don't uh, uh, like, so you can write it firstly, okay, minus 5 multiply x minus x0, right? Okay, plus here, the number is 1, the second dd. So it should be 1 multiply, 1 multiply x minus x0 multiply x minus 1. It's okay. And plus third dd. So 3 multiply x multiply x minus 1 then multiply x minus 2. It's okay. Here. Okay. 2. Okay. So of course you can obtain the result. It is 3x cubic minus 8x square plus 2. Plus 2. It's okay. So now you see, we use the table, so it is easy to compute, right? By the divided difference table, they can, we can obtain the Newton interpolation form, formula. Of course, uh, you can check if you use Lagrange interpolation polynomial, at last you will obtain the same result. It's okay? By the uniqueness. It's okay. So I hope you can practice for both use the new the Lagrange interpolation basis. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, come back to the first example. Now, the first example we choose a function f x equal to minus three x four plus f five multiplied x cubic minus two times x square plus one. Now we need to check to find the divided difference. Now you see how many nodes, uh, 2 power 0, okay, 2 uh, over, uh, of 1 and the uh, power 4 of 2, right? So 0, 1 to 4, we have 5 nodes, 5 nodes, so it should be 4th order DD, right, 4th order DD. And also we can, we want to find 0, 1 to 5, so 5th order, 5th order, 
uh, dd, right? Okay, now also, uh, here, actually, you don't use, you don't need to use a table. Why? Because now you see this is a polynomial of degree 4, polynomial of degree 4, but here, you need to consider, compute the first order dd. So that means the power m equal to a degree of m equal to 4, and the order k is also equal to 4, right? So by the formula, uh, actually, we, we just use this property. Now you see, when m equal to k, then the divided difference is just 1. Otherwise, because uh, if k bigger than m, then the result is just 0. So, okay, actually, here, now you see. Uh, here, we obtain, we obtain, uh, this is a uh, uh, force, force dd, force dd, divided difference. Of course, we have another formula, the relation, the relation between the relation between the uh, case order dd and the case order divide a uh, derivative it's okay so we, we can just use we can just use this also this property so the first order derivative of f at some c divided by Fourth fractal number, but you should know this is a polynomial of degree four, so its de its derivative should be minus three multiply the four fractal number, right? Okay, again divided by four fractal number. Okay, so the result is just the coefficient of minus three. It's okay, actually. That means here, because there is the, the highest order term is x4, so the coefficient is minus 3. So, and for the no term, no order terms, the divided difference are zeros. So, this term, the divided difference is 1. 1 multiplies the coefficient. It's okay? So, uh, you can use the uh, property. You can use the property for this property, and also you can use this property, right? It's okay. Uh, so different ways to obtain the result. And if you consider the fifth order dd, and now for this term, k equal to 5, 5 bigger than 4. So actually, you don't need to compute, compute the table. Directly, we know it is the fifth order derivative of C at C divided by five fract number. And actually, it is just the first order polynomial. Of course, its fifth order derivative should be zero, right? Should be zero. So you don't need to compute directly. It's okay. So by the property. Okay. So at last, I show you I show you the Newton's interpolation polynomial of degree n by this formula. P n x again equal to f x zero plus the first d d at x zero x one multiply x minus x zero plus the second d d right multiply x minus x zero multiply x minus x one plus dots plus to the last term because here n. Degree n means we have n plus 1 nodes, fx0, x1 to xn. Okay, multiply terms, x minus x0, x minus x1 to x minus x, n minus 1. Clear? So this is Newton's formula. Okay, actually, it is equal to the former result, p n minus 1's order uh, uh, degree polynomial, just plus the last term. It's okay? So we can use the table, uh, the divided difference table. Clear?
Okay. Also, let's practice another uh, example. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six data points, right? Okay. Of course, it is not easy to use Lagrange interpolation basis. You can compare, right? Okay. Now we find uh, the interpolation polynomial Px for fx. Now we use the divided differences, the Lewis formula. No, the table. First colon, second colon. Also, okay. So, okay. Now. <clears throat> Okay, the first, uh, okay, a little quick, so I stop to show you. Okay, I directly explain to you, okay? Now, you see, the first column, okay, the nodes minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, right? Okay, the now, the function values minus 5, minus 2, 3, turn, 1930. Clear? Okay, let's compute one by one. Okay, first uh, dd. So we use minus two minus minus five divided by minus one minus minus two. It's okay? So it is three. It's okay? Check. Okay, so, uh, this, this term. Three minus minus two divided by 0 minus minus 1. So it is 5, right? It's okay. And by these two terms, we can compute the second dd. 5 minus 3 divided by, you should know, 0 minus minus 2. Okay? 0 minus minus 2. So it is 1. It's okay. And we add this new knot 1 and 10. So 10 minus 3 here, divided by 1 minus 0, so it is 7, it's okay. And by the two terms, okay, 7 minus 5 divided by, so you should be 1 minus, okay, you should, you should know here. It's okay, 7 minus 5 divided by 1 minus minus 1. So it is 1. Really sure. Clear? Okay, continue. We use this two term. We use this two term. Then 1 minus 1 divided by, okay, you see, 2 and point. 1 minus minus 1, uh, minus 2. Okay, so it is 1 plus 2. 0. It's okay. Actually, 1 and 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Clear? Okay, add one new node, 2 and 19. So, 19, this term, now you see, 19 minus 10 over 2 minus 1, it is 9. Okay, and, uh, okay, I need clean. And uh, let's consider this two term, 9 minus 7 over 2 minus 0. Clear? Okay, it is 1, right? And okay, continue. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 0, of course. And over 2 minus minus 1. It's okay for you? So it is 2 plus 1. So you, you I, I hope you can practice two formula with the computation, right? Okay, the last term. 3 and 30. So you see 30 minus 19, okay, over 3 over 2, uh, 3 minus 2, so it is 11, right? And you'll see, 11 minus 9 over 3 minus 1, so it is 1. It's okay? Continue. 1 minus 1 over 3 minus 0, so it is 0. It's okay, the third DD. Now you see, all the numbers are zeros. So continue, continue. All the terms should be zero, 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 and so on. Okay, so it should be just two zeros, okay? Two zeros, and 
last one should be zero. It's okay. We don't need to compare, uh, compute because all the numbers are zeros. So of course, the uh, next should be zero, zero, zero. Right? It's okay for you. Okay. This is the example three. Okay. Now you see, actually, actually here, for the diagonal numbers minus five. 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, actually zeros, right? So we only need 1, 2, 3, 3 non-zero numbers, right? So here we have the first, uh, the first DD is 3, uh, uh, the second DD is 1, the third DD is 0, and so on, zeros, right? So by the Luden's interpolation formula, we know this polynomial, uh, okay, now you see, uh, let's compare, here is minus 5, My, uh, I write here directly, minus 5 mu uh, plus, this is a constant, right, okay, the basis is 1, right, okay, plus 3 multiply x, mu 3 mu multiply x minus the first node, so it is, should be plus 2, and plus 1 multiply x plus 2 multiply the second, the second node is, is minus 1. So it is x plus 1. It's okay? And okay, next should be 0. This number, the third dd is 0. So it should be x plus 2 multiply x plus 1 multiply x. Okay, you see minus 2 minus 1. 0, so x minus 0, it's okay, now you see, actually this term is already 0, so it's just equal to, okay, minus 5 plus 3, x plus 2, plus x plus 2, multiply x plus 1, it's okay, so at last, you can you see this term, okay, minus 5 plus 3, x plus 2, 3x plus 2 multiply x plus 1 multiply x uh, plus x plus 1 multiply x plus 2. So now actually you can obtain it is just the uh, second a uh, quadratic quadratic polynomial x uh, square plus 6x plus 3. Of course you can check you can check for the data. Okay, so now you see okay this example show you so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six data points. But actually, the function is just a quadratic polynomial. That means we we take we take several points on the quadratic polynomial by the uniqueness. Actually, you you just obtain the quadratic polynomial. It's okay? So now you can compare the cost. Now you see, uh, because these numbers are zeros, so next are zeros, so it is easy to use the table, the divided difference table. So you can, you can use the Newton formula easily. Of course, if you use Lagrangian interpolation polynomials, okay, of course the result should be same. But the computation are more complicated, right? Because, for example, for the not two, for the not two, okay, you should construct the L zero, L zero x. Remember, it is a ratio. It should be x minus other nodes, right? So it should be x minus minus one plus one, uh, x minus zero. Uh, and my x minus uh, 1 multiply x minus 2, x minus 3. It's okay? And what is the denominator? Denominator should be replace x by the first node, minus 2. So it is minus 2 plus 1, minus 2 minus 0, minus 2 minus 1, minus 2 minus 2, and uh, minus 2 minus 3. 
it's okay. So now one, one, two, three, four, five, five terms. So a little complicated, and you need to write L one, L two, uh, and and so on, right? So then compute the summation. So it is a、uh, complicated. So now you find the advantage, the advantage of Newton, Newton's formula, right? By the divided difference table, clear?